Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back and uh, we're going to be breaking down, taking a look at our brackets as well as the bets. So the opening day uh, bets that I went over did fairly well. Um, I had to end up doing a different looking parlay uh, and I came up in Arizona win by four points away from winning five grand. Uh, so that kind of was a little bit of a kick in the nuts to start. Friday was a struggle. Saturday and Sunday were, were, were fine, um, didn't do anything crazy, uh, but I did have a nice um, uh, a, a nice sweet 16, so we'll go over the bets that I placed for that, and then we'll also go over the bets that I placed for, so let's go ahead and zoom in here. So we had, um, these were my sweet 16, so we had Michigan minus 2.5 for 5 units, that cashed. Um, they won by a million. Uh, Kansas State plus six and a half for one and a half units. That cashed. Uh, they won outright. Florida State plus six and a half, one point five units. They won outright, so that cashed. Villanova money line minus eight one eighty five for ten units. Uh, that cashed. They won. Um, they won by plenty. They won by double digits. I don't have. <laughs> I can't remember exactly how much every team won by. Uh, Villanova minus four and a half, seven units. Uh, that cashed. Kansas minus three and a half, three units. I bought down to Kansas three and a half. Um, instead of taking what they were at four and a half, um, I, I like the three and a half a lot more. I just felt more comfortable with it. I had already been bitten twice by Kansas in the tournament, so I, I just decided, let me play it safe, let me go ahead and, and buy a point, and uh, I'll live with the li reduced minimal amount of money. So it paid off because they won by four. Texas Tech minus two and a half, three units. They won outright. Uh, and then I had Duke Moneyline parlay four times with four open spots, or yeah, with two open spots. Uh, so one and a half units per parlay. So they won seven and zero, oh, uh, and the Duke Moneyline parlay. So it was uh, 27 and a half units plus uh so 31 units were wagered so it was 58.7 units uh in total paid back uh and so here are my bets for the elite eight uh, i have kansas state minus one minus 105 versus loyola chicago um i like kansas state to get it done uh still not entirely sure about the health of dean wade and if he's going to play eight minutes or if he'll play 10 or 15 or what what's going on but i like uh barry brown and kansas state to get it done i think loyola chicago's run comes to an end uh, I like Michigan minus four and a half, minus one hundred five against Can against Florida State. One of my favorite uh, bets. Uh, I just think Michigan takes care of business, gets to, to the uh, to the Sweet Six, or does, uh, uh, they keep their they keep their miracle run that they started, uh, get into the Sweet Sixteen, and then they finally turn their offense on in the Sweet Sixteen. Think they get it done, the Elite Eight advance to the to the Final Four. Uh, Duke minus three, minus one hundred five against Kansas. Uh, should be close to a toss-up game, but uh, I do like Duke minus three. Uh, Nova minus seven uh, and a half. I bought a point. I'm paying their their actual line is minus six and a half, but I have a minus seven and a half, so I can get the plus one hundred five. And so uh, against Texas Tech, so I, I'm just going with that. Uh, really haven't been impressed with Texas Tech the whole entire tournament, but they continue to win. Uh, I also took bets on the futures for Villanova, Duke, and Michigan. Uh, I didn't put my units here, uh, but it's uh, two and a half units Kansas State, seven units Michigan, seven units Villanova, uh, five units Duke, um, and then futures Michigan, Duke, and Villanova. I put three on each. I put three units on each of these. No, wait, hold on. What did I put on this? I put five on Nova, three on Duke, three on Michigan, I think, was the units that I placed on that. Um, so, I think I lose a little if Nova wins, but I'll win money if Michigan or Duke wins. Uh, and then here are the fill-ins for those Duke money line parlays. Uh, I went a Michigan Duke money line, Michigan Villanova money line, a no Villanova Duke money line, and then a Kansas State minus one with a Nova a Villanova money line. Uh, so those are the bets there. So that was pretty quick and easy. Got over those. So let's go ahead and take a look at our bracket. So not very not too bad so the safe early lock bracket uh that i that i submitted um is this one here this is the one that i have in most places so it's got texas tech it's got all this blown up here um did i even get i got three teams correct in the whole entire first round up there 
And then I got zero teams correct the rest of the way. Okay, so I got a whole three, 30 points out of that, so that, that was a real special. Um, this was the bracket of absolute perfection, almost. Um, I missed the 8, 9, and 9, and 7, 10 matchups, but whatever. Uh, I had the Marshall upset, then I had the perfect Sweet 16 here, and then I have the perfect Elite 8, eight, eight there. Um, then down here, uh, the New Mexico State pick didn't come through. I really liked Clemson. Uh, once they beat New Mexico State to beat Auburn, um, I took them. They were actually dogs. They were like plus three against Auburn, which, just, which was just hilarious to me. Um, they almost pulled it off against Kansas, but remained good here. Syracuse beating Michigan State was really good for me. Uh, it eliminated a lot of people who had Michigan State. So Duke, Kansas, we got that right. And then we had Michigan right here. Um pretty much if you eliminate the three that no one could have guessed right really if you were doing an educated bracket with florida state loyal chicago and kansas state um i was five for five uh for the elite eight we still have michigan and nova and duke for the final four alive and then we still have my national championship pick so my early lock bracket looking looking pretty good uh we'll take a look it is currently uh 10 points behind my final bracket, we're in the 94%. Uh, my initial bracket is actually in the 100%. It's in the top of the cream of the crop. Um, what did I do so different here? Okay, so we had Kansas State. We had Kentucky winning, so there's some extra points there. We had Tennessee. We had Texas, though. We lost a point there without taking Nevada. What do we have down here? I had Florida State down here instead of Missouri. So that was some extra points. I had Zaga. There's where I had that South... Oh, I had Gonzaga into the uh, Sweet 16, so that's where I lost a lot of points. Um, I initially had Gonzaga there instead of Ohio State, so that was kind of a, a key mistake on my part, missing that. And then we had Michigan, so all that looks pretty good. Um, oh, we... Oh, oh, okay. So I had Clemson and Gonzaga. Okay. So I took none of the upsets here like I did in my final bracket. Huh, that would have been interesting. Should have just stuck with the initial bracket. That's a pretty, pretty beautiful initial bracket here. That's a very nice initial bracket. So, and then up here, I had Alabama, not Virginia Tech. So, I only missed one thing in here. So, very good bracket. Um, we'll take a look at my final bracket real quick. And then we'll get, uh, we'll get on out of here. I'll have another update video on Monday. Uh, so, I'm, I'm ranked one millionth, with this, which is pretty bad, but... So we got 210 out of the 320 possible round of 64, 140 out of the 320 in the round of 32, 200 of the 320 in the Sweet 16. Uh, so it should be interesting to see how we do there. But uh, so that Creighton pick that just that just went awful. Uh, we switched to the Kentucky pick. I believe that's the extra point I have over the early lock. I don't actually know what I did with Kentucky on. On the bracket I submitted, I, I, I know I'm in, I want to say I'm in, I'm in fourth, I was in fourth place on Wednesday in a, in a big uh, a bracket thing at uh, at work, and so hopefully that, come, that comes through. I did actually decently well here. We had Cincinnati, Nevada, Tennessee, Loyola, Chicago, Kentucky, uh, did not have Kansas State. Not, not too bad in this region, but it all went to absolute madness there so I, I don't know i don't feel bad about having that wrong the ohio state pick kind of crucified me here uh could have had gonzaga that would have been big for some extra points um yeah kind of hurts to have missed out on those points got michigan there um down here switching that pick to the tc i should have just see i i would have been crystal perfect if i just wouldn't have changed it, i would have been like oh well you know the winner of the arizona syracuse arizona state syracuse game yeah i'm just gonna keep them here because i had them man i had them and it's 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 kind of brutal that i swapped off of it and we ended up with with tcu which was just oh man that was just not not a good decision then we had this cluster here where i decided yeah let me let, let me try it was just i know lots of people around new mexico state but Man, I should have I should have known better. Um, I, I I just didn't I don't know I felt good about it, but then again it was kind of a probably shouldn't have gone there. 
But we have Kansas and Duke, so we're, we're good. We're good there. And then up here, like I said, we missed Virginia Tech and Arkansas. But other than that, pretty much perfect. Villanova, West Virginia, Texas Tech, Purdue. Nova, Texas Tech tomorrow. So n not too bad. We got the Kansas State, Loyola, Chicago tonight at 6.09 Eastern. And then we got Florida State, Michigan at about 9 Eastern. So that should be some quality games. Hopefully Michigan. I have Michigan and Duke in a, in a draw um, where they draw the teams to get assigned teams. I got Duke, Michigan, and Rhode Island. So doing, doing quality with Duke and Michigan. I was happy about that because I have them in my Final Four. Would have loved to get Villanova, but... Obviously, pretty hard to get the teams that you absolutely want. I feel bad for the guy. He had, uh, there was one guy who had Virginia. Uh, he had Virginia, North Carolina, and Michigan State. Like, it was a dream draw for him. He got three, and Michigan State, North Carolina, Virginia. That was just a dream draw. And, man, it just went up in flames for him before he could even get to the, he didn't get a single one of those to the Sweet 16. That's just a painful one. Another guy, I think, has Kansas and Loyola Chicago. So that's kind of a lucky draw for him. He has Loyola Chicago. Um, another guy has Kansas State and Texas Tech. So that's a pretty decent draw for him. He was not very happy with the draw, but uh, ended up being pretty good for him. Um, so I don't, I don't actually know who has Florida State. Um, but other than that, I know who has everything else. But yeah, that's going to do it, guys. That's the brackets take one more look at the overall so we have a 100 percentile here with the initial bracket which can we can we go back to the original bracket second bracket was pretty good too it's in the 97th um the bracket two this was the one i did record for youtube with the arizona one this was just like an accidental my video didn't record correctly um third bracket we're in the 89 percent uh this was the early lock the safe one that's in the 92nd percent um coin flip bracket <laughs> the poor coin flip and dice roll brackets oh man these poor guys they're all dead there's no one left in the coin flip or the dice roll those poor things went up in smoke um odds based odds based didn't do too bad but it had virginia winning so obviously it's pretty dead then the final bracket 94th percent i'm pretty happy with that uh we can take one quick look at the guy in first he's 30 up uh, so here is his bracket. So he actually had Kansas State and Loyola, Chicago. Interesting bracket there. He actually, he did that bracket absolutely perfect except for UMBC. It's actually very impressive. You can never tell if these were like serious picks or if these were like <laughs> stupid picks. But he did, he got this part, he got this part almost correct. Got North Carolina and Gonzaga wrong. Other than that, it's perfect down there. Um, he had Michigan State advancing, but other than that, that's a perfect bracket down there. That up here, he had Wichita State instead of Marshall, and he did not, and he had Butler instead of Purdue, but he had Butler all the way in the sweet six, or into the lead eight, so Gonzaga being his national championship pick kind of kills him, but other than that, not a pretty, pretty impressive bracket. We'll take a look at one more bracket. Uh, let's look at Bob Byers. Does he have yeah okay he's got he's got his perfect final okay so this is probably the guy with the best chance to win so he was not great up here um he had tennessee versus k-state so not anything special up here he had georgia state beating cincinnati so there's nothing special in that bracket down here absolutely perfect except he had san diego state north carolina but he got the elite eight of florida state and michigan so that's nice he had syracuse advancing he had Ch college of charleston nc state but perfect where it mattered oh he did not have clemson advancing it's an interesting bracket here uh he went absolutely perfect in the uh east regional hmm interesting it's a lot of points for a bracket that i don't like that's not that fantastic in my opinion I would have thought it would be better for being in second place. Hmm. But he has Michigan winning it all, Michigan K-State, Villanova Duke, and then Michigan against Duke uh, with Michigan winning it all. So that should be interesting. It's an interesting bracket to keep an eye on. But, guys, that's going to do it. We'll update it again on Monday. Hopefully Nova, Michigan, and Duke can pull out the Ws, and uh, we'll have three Final Four teams alive in the bracket. So that would be that would be beautiful. So we'll see how that goes down, uh, and I'll catch you guys in that video. Peace out.